Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I wanted to welcome you to my channel, Rebecca Over 60. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about skincare. Recently, I made a video about minimal makeup, and today I want to talk about minimal skincare. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I just turned 70, and for about 10 years, I sold beauty products. I actually have worked as an actor doing voiceovers for over 40 years, but as a single mom, I needed to find something else to do. So I started selling makeup and skincare and became pretty successful in it. I rose up to the rank of director and earned three cars. And I don't want to bash that skincare company at all. They actually have very nice products. I'm not a big fan of MLM, however, because what happens is they are fairly on the expensive side and they really try to upsell you on a lot of stuff. And one thing that I've found for women over 50-ish is that the cosmetic and beauty industry wants to sell you a lot of stuff you really don't need. So less is more as far as beauty products go also. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm currently using for my skin. And I think I look okay for a 70 year old. I don't have any type of plastic surgery. I've never used Botox, so it's just all me. I do have lines. And you know, the thing is, is that you just have to embrace it. I think it's part of your personality and all those years that you've spent going through life, I think there's nothing wrong with it. You know, you don't have to look like a, you know, I don't know if you've seen a lot of these ladies that have had all these fillers and things like that, and they kind of look scary. <laughs> and I don't want to look like that. I like the natural look. And it's really funny because sometimes I think that when I do my videos, I have to do them in between hair appointments too. I openly admit I haven't embraced my gray and right now I've got gray coming in. <laughs> so what the heck, right? One of these days, maybe when I'm 80, I'll, I'll start going gray, but I really celebrate those of you that have gone gray and some of you look absolutely stunning in it. I'm just a big baby and haven't done it yet. So <laughs> I try to keep my skincare simple as possible but i have to say that ever since i was about 12 years old when i went to charm school <laughs> somebody sent me to charm school they really emphasize how you should take care of your skin by washing your face and keeping it nice so i was pretty lucky as i was growing up i didn't have a lot of acne or anything like that and i was just always really good at cleaning my skin. I, I remember using Noxzema and Yardley and all of those fun products. So it worked. <laughs> it was, it did a good job. So let's talk a little bit about some of the products that I've been using. I like to try a lot of products and on, as a blogger, I have a blog called babyboomster.com and also doing YouTube, I get sent a lot of products to try, which is really cool. And I think it's it's good to try different products. But lately, what I've been using to clean my face, and some of you may go like, what? <laughs> is a Dove Bar. This is really great. It's very pure. It really cleans my face. It feels nice and soft and moist afterwards. And I love it. And one thing I've been doing is washing my face for about one minute. So I count to 60 while I'm washing my face. And I think what it does is it really exfoliates everything. And it just makes my face shine and look really nice and glowing, which I really love. I also love using serums. And I've used a bunch of different serums and some of them are just really amazing. Recently, <laughs> this is gonna sound kind of gross, I've been using this snail serum and I love it. <laughs> I have to say, I was thinking at first like, ew, you know, putting snail goop on your face just sounds horrible. I was sent this bottle and the, the bottle that's really the most popular is by a brand called Cosrx. This 
seems to be a little bit of a, I, I don't know if it's a ripoff of it or what, but whatever it is, I think it has the same ingredients. I'll put both links in my description below, but this stuff is really amazing. I put it on my face and it just feels so wonderful and hydrated. It's supposed to be very, very effective. So I recommend this. One thing that I don't like to use so much are these so-called natural serums because they have a lot of botanicals and things like that, which are really great, but sometimes those types of things like essential oils and things have more of a tendency for people to have reactions to them. I'm sort of of the mind of the science and botanicals kind of combo where you know, they've been tested on and things like that. Not with animals, of course. <laughs> but I think that, that it's really important to have a product that has gone through testing to make sure that you have less of a chance of getting allergies. I also really go for fragrance-free products. I think that's really important. One thing is in my last video about makeup, I failed to mention sunscreen and I just wanted to say that sunscreen is super important because nobody wants to get skin cancer. I use mineral sunscreen. Right now I'm using the CeraVe that has a 50 SPF. It's really great. It does leave a little bit of a white cast so you have to use just a tiny bit of it and really rub it in. but. I like mineral sunscreen because it doesn't irritate my eyes. I've always had a problem with that for about, <laughs> I think, 60 years I wore contact lenses and right now I don't because I had cataract surgery, which was just absolutely amazing. It fixed my eyes and I highly recommend it to anybody that is nearsighted. It's the most amazing thing. I love CeraVe products. I just think that they're wonderful. They're just nice and pure. They're fragrance free mostly. You just have to check for those. And this one's great. And any other type of sunscreen is important. I also use a foundation when I do use the foundation. I use the It Cosmetics foundation. It has an SPF 50 in it. So that's good as well. And then I think it's okay to get a tiny bit of sun too. A lot of times I like to go out in the morning and just take a walk really early before the really damaging rays come because you know, it gives you the, a little bit of that vitamin D, which is important. And then as far as moisturizer goes, this is my favorite, but I love to try all kinds of different ones. I'm right now I'm trying one that has like a vitamin C in it. I've tried different things that have had retinols. I think the, the important thing is that they have all of those things like niacinamides, ceramides, peptides, you know, all of those good things in them. But this one is <laughs> incredible for me because I have dry skin. The nice thing about this CeraVe moisturizing cream is that you can put it over your entire body. I tend to just use it mostly on my face, but sometimes if I have like, elbows, my elbows get really rough or my feet or, or my knees, then I'll use it on that too. Sometimes when I use it in the summer, it kind of makes me feel a little bit sweaty. But this one, especially when it's during the cold months is especially good. And then in the warmer months, I like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, which I ran out of, so I can't show you that. There's also products that the skincare industry wants you to buy that you don't necessarily need and one of them is eye cream. I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy eye cream. I mean, you know, it feels really good and all that stuff, but it tends to be on the expensive side and it's actually a formula that has less active ingredients than a regular moisturizer. So it's not like something that you have to have. It's just something that, you know, if you want to spend money on it, you can do that. Another thing would be a neck cream. I have this wonderful neck cream by Neostrata that is absolutely wonderful. It's on the expensive side, but you know, if I use this on my neck, it's just as good. <laughs> 
Oh, and the other thing that I definitely am not a big fan of are those exfoliating scrubs. I think that, especially for older skin, because older skin tends to get very fragile, it can be really damaging. And you never, even younger people, you never want to have something that has, you know, is made out of like apricot pits or that type of thing because it's really damaging on your skin. So anyway, that's kind of like what I've been using. I think it's doing a good job for a 70 year old. I know I still, you know, have the turkey neck and, and all of this stuff. It's really funny because I just discovered that, you know, my eyebrows are sort of lopsided and I found that if I lift one of them up, it's it's like they, it evens them out. So I can't really afford a you know plastic surgery. So I sort of stuck with that and have to deal with uh, eyebrow pencil and things like that. Anyway, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe, click the notification bell. That'll give you notifications of my latest videos. And I hope to see you again soon.